Hello and welcome to this Affinity software tutorial and it's mainly aimed at beginners about moving the different layers up and down. Now this came about because in one of the Facebook groups I'm a member of a new user of Affinity software was having trouble moving the layers um, because he said that it was uh, you know when he moved the layer up to the top sometimes it would disappear and he couldn't work out why and he couldn't work out what was going on so I thought I'd make this video mainly to help that person but also to help other beginners now I've made six layers here one the white background and one layer each with a different number on it now like all software um, affinity programs be it affinity photo designer or publisher they have more than one way to do things so most video tutorials when they talk about moving the layer up and down they will use the mouse to click and hold down the left mouse button and drag the layer up or down depending on where they want it so it's fairly easy to do um, the only difference is um, as you move it up you will get blue lines appearing and the length and position of these blue lines will alter where that layer is going to go so if you get a blue line in this layers panel here that goes all the way across that means that layer will be moved in between the two la the layer above and the layer below if the blue line only goes from the right hand side to the left the edge of the icon that means that when you let go of the mouse button that layer will become a child of the layer above and lastly if you get a blue line that very small blue line that just goes half over the icon and half on the layer that means it will be a made a mask of the layer that it is attached to I'm not going to necessarily describe the difference between child and mask and what have you but to demonstrate this I'm going to move this white background layer so I'm going to click and hold and drag it up and as you can see that blue line now goes all the way across so if I let go that layer is now been moved up from the bottom to above the one which is why you can't see the one because it is behind the white background if I click and move this again but move it up so let's move it to this one so that blue line doesn't go all the way across if I let go now that layer will become a child of layer 3 and as you can see because it's a child it has turned the 3 into a white a white color so if I click and drag this again let's move this up to four and this is a bit fiddlier to do is to get it like that and if I let go now you can see there's a blue line between the logo and the number four that is now a mask of that layer it's not really affecting anything at the moment um, but as you can see it is it looks like a child layer but it is technically a mask let me just click and drag this back down to the bottom so that is now back to being a layer in its own right. So that is how most like videos will tell you how to move layers up and down. Um, it does sometimes come a bit tricky, especially if you're trying to get it above the top layer. If I move this right to the top, so you sort of it's very difficult, or well it can be difficult to get it just right to let go to move that to the very top sometimes you can accidentally let go before you're ready and make it a child and you think it's disappeared but it, all it has done is become a child of a certain layer so if you do that by mistake it's easy enough to open up that group and drag it out again 
so that is how you do it with the mouse like I said there are different ways to do this another way is to use the arrange menu now you've got the arrange menu up here and you can from these options here you can as I've got the bottom layer highlighted I can't go any lower which is why the move back options are greyed out but you can move forward one by clicking on this or you can use the keyboard shortcut which is control plus the square bracket so if I click on that that layer will move up one point uh, one layer so I'll come back to arrange so now all the options are available because I can now move backwards as well as forwards so if I move this to the front which basically means the top click on that it will move that layer to the top of the stack so again now I'm at the top the forward options are not available and I can use only use the move back options which again is the control plus the left square bracket or control plus shift and the left square bracket so let me move this back to the bottom so what about making this a child or a mask let me put this in between two and three if I want to make this layer a child of two I think if I remember correctly it has to be above the layer you want to make it a child of from a range you can go to move inside and that will make that a child of the layer below it and if you want to take it out you can come to move outside now to make it a mask of a layer you can right click on here and you've got mask to below so that will make that a mask of it not a child it's slightly confusing but that is all, basically all that does and put that back down the bottom again so that's basically it you can move the layers up and down by using the mouse and clicking and dragging and depending on where the blue line is is where that layer will end up or you can use the arrange menu and use the move forwards move backs or move inside move outside or right click a layer and mask to below or if you want to when if it is a mask you can also click on release to release it from being a mask now in designer and publisher there is this is designer I'm not going to publish the same there is no arrange menu as such but if you come to layer and then you've got arrange and then you have the same options of moving forwards, moving back, moving inside, moving outside and you can still drag layers with the mouse and right click on it and do mask below so it's slightly different in designer and publisher but the arrange options are there if you're not very good using a mouse to click and drag whether that's the same on the iPad I don't know because I, I don't have an iPad so I'm, but I'm guessing there is an arrange menu on the iPad as well as the PC and the Mac so basically that is it hopefully a very quick guide to help beginners move layers up and down so thank you for watching and goodbye